What's going on everybody? It's Midwest Reaper and we're back with another video. So in the last one, in the last video, uh, I kind of laid down the basis of the new tank and what we're trying to do with it and, you know, kind of give you guys just a little tour. I have the rest of the stuff that I need to start the tank. Um, now, this, some of the stuff is pre-recorded, so the tank has been um, starting its cycle. However, because um, I did do dry rock and dry sand, however, uh, since this is like a project tank and it's nothing super serious, I have my other tank going. I am going to try this bio spira. Um, you know, everybody's looking for a quick way to get their tank cycled and everybody wants to know what they can do. Um, as some of you guys know, on my fluval, I skip cycle the tank, which means I use live rock and live sand. And there's already the neutrifying bacteria on there. This right here has all the bacteria you need in it. However, one of the obstacles that we're going to face is getting ammonia or getting waste into the tank now obviously i just can't leave the coral in there and let it grow by the light because um the bacteria will die there'll be nothing for it to eat in there the tank will be way too sterile so one thing is to put a small fish in there which we really don't want to do um the other thing i can do is i can just put some small inverts in there and i am going to be feeding the corals so i am going to be feeding the coral uh reefroid i've been wanting to try this out anyway so I figure I'll do it in a smaller environment and I'm going to be feeding that coral and I'm hoping that feeding the coral, I mean, that's going to give it all its nutrients and obviously some of the leftover food will be, um, will break down and that way the uh, nitrifying bacteria can eat it. And then also that'll give a little bit of, uh, stuff for some of the invertebrates to eat. So we're going to see, this is a ongoing process. Um, there is not a lot of tanks out there on YouTube that are coral only that don't have some type of fish in there at least a goby or a domino danzel or something I, I think i maybe found one tank maybe um but i could not find any tanks and in all the forms and all the threads everybody's saying get a fish get a fish get a fish they're not answering the question that people are asking they're saying hey how do i do coral only tank and people are like well why wouldn't you want fish fish are cool movement fish poop is the best i was like i feel like in the years that we've been keeping tanks in our homes and studying corals, that we found something else to feed them other than fish shit. So we're gonna try refroids out. We're gonna try some other stuff too. Again, I'm no expert on this, but that's what I'm here. That's what this channel's here for, is to try new things and to show you guys what is possible and what isn't possible. So we have the refroids there. Um, I have the biospire here that we're gonna be using, although, my parameters are already good. I took water from the uh, my pre-existing fish tank, not to mention some media. So um, parameters have been good for like the last four days. We'll go ahead and throw some of that spire in there too and just see what we get. Um, the next thing I got is just a basic digital thermometer. Uh, I normally get one or two of those just for consistency's sake. Um, that little 10, uh, 10 watt Aquion heater doesn't even work. Um, so it's junk and that's like the third one I've had to replace even when I had the beta tank. So I'm kind of over that uh, I'm gonna try this Aquion 50 watt heater um, It's more of a traditional style heater um, As you can see here, I actually already have it in the tank so I can get it heated up So I can test it and make sure it works before I move forward with anything else um, This actually fit back there. I didn't think it was going to um, It's preset to 78 degrees. So we'll see how good it is on there but it's up to 20 gallons. Of course, we only have a 2.5-gallon uh, tank, so my thoughts are that this won't have to work as hard or stay on as long to heat that little surface up. So we'll see experimenting with different things. Like I said, it's a little Pico tank. I'm not going to have any livestock in there, really, other than the coral. Um, and worst case scenario, if things start getting bad and the coral starts reacting negatively to this Pico reef, I'll go ahead and recover it and put it back into the fluval. Hopefully, it'll bounce back. Um, but this is here for everybody so you know what is possible what isn't possible um, and this is also here for me and last but not least my baby has come in I have not this light came out of nowhere I was honestly going to get one of the wave point um, LED lights uh, just a little small one they're like 40 50 bucks and I don't know where this popped up you know good old Amazon as you can see it's I think it's an Amazon branded light or Amazon is pushing this light like this is their 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 reef light but obviously it's made in China that's Chinese writing there not Japanese if I'm correct yes it is and uh, oh and also says made in China so so much for me trying to stun you guys um, but anyway let's go ahead and take a look at this light 
right here. This is called the Astra, or the Asta, Asta 20 Marine Light. And this thing right here is going to look dope on the tank, I believe. It has an IR control. It looks like it has some Wi-Fi on there. Um, there's four separate channels to control and to dial in. I don't believe it has a timer built in though, which is fine for this Pico tank. And uh, here's the light here. So you have an idea of how it's gonna look on the tank. It's gonna look dope, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up and then I'll cut over to the tank once I get everything rocking. All right guys, I'm back. I have the tank set up, but before I show you guys the tank, let me show you guys some of the inner workings and how, how I have everything set up and kind of wired up and everything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look. So down here we have some of my pops and some of my comic stuff that I like. Honestly, this was given to me mainly by friends and family because um, they know I like that stuff. So I just display it for appreciation of them thinking of giving me a gift. Um, right here we have the digital thermometer ran and it's held by double-sided Velcro. Over here we have the remote controller on the side with the Velcro. You can see my screws that I try to paint over with my homemade stand. Um, down here, very clean setup. We have the RO water over there. We have my refractometer, my test kit, filter, some sand. You can see I have all the wires bundled up. Um, and zip tied up so there's no extra wires hanging around then right here is the controller for the light it is a bit heavy so i do have double sided tape on the back side and then just a piece of gorilla duct tape holding it there um just to keep it off the ground should any water spill this whole thing is encased for the most part and lifted off the ground about an inch or so so it should be fine for water and then of course i have the droop system so nothing should really be pouring on there directly. But if it does, I do have a circuit breaker on there as well, just to cut power if there is a short and it's magnetic. All right, so that's pretty much it. Everything's clean and uniform. Now all that's left to do is to show you guys the tank itself. So get ready. boom, there it is people. We got the tank set up. She's popping ready to go. Everything is looking excellent. I couldn't be more happy on how this tank turned out and how everything fit together. It's so modular and small. It's clean. Um, it looks really well in my home. And I have everything mapped out perfectly. Like I showed you, I have the remote over there on the side, the thermometer sitting right up in front. We got the clean underside with all the inner workings and everything fit in this sump. This light is so dope. The controllability on it, is really nice um, and I'm definitely going to let you guys know a lot more about the tank and the components that I'm using in another video today this is just showing off the tank set up with before I put anything in there so I'm just going to give you guys a quick look and then you know we'll go ahead and end this video if you have any questions or anything um, that I may have done wrong or concerns or even any tips for me of course let me know down in the comments below but until then I'll see you guys in the next one Day and night, I toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind I look for peace, but see I don't attain What I need for keeps, this silly game we play Play, hey, hey, hey Now look at this Madness the magnet keeps attracting me, me I try to run, but see I'm not that fast